This video is all about the RT100 XF drill from Goering. Dave, you've got many drills in, in your range. Why is this so different? We look in from within the range and we, 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 we felt that there was a, a need for a, a, a brand new tool which had been designed from start to finish, maybe completely differently to a degree. I mean, the basic design of a drill goes back hundreds of years and it hasn't really moved on a lot. And from its appearance, it doesn't look that. But there's a loss in the background of it would, that, that makes it totally different to other tools that we've made. And what are those differences? First and foremost, the base material. Uh, we developed our own, our own carbide, we make our own carbide. And as a result of which, we've actually designed a carbide um, which is, is, is both hard, but is also very tough. And it's also, with this particular tool, it's also almost got a, a self-sharpening aspect to it. So that it's a, it is a little bit more unique within it. Yeah, yeah, sounds it. The other thing I note is how lubricant and how shiny that coating is. Is, yeah. is that a big part of it? Very much so. I mean, you're all, you're all looking at swarf evacuation, uh, first and foremost. You can only drill at the speeds that you can see in the video. Um, we, we ran this dry purely and simply. You normally wouldn't. I mean, the whole range is oil feed. But obviously you can't see anything on a CNC machine if it was running from there. Um, but with that, with that, with that particular tool, um, the swarf evacuation is is is, is paramount. Uh, you can only drill as fast as, you, as fast as you can get the swarf out. So the the surface finish requirements before coating is very high, and then the polishing after coating is also very high. Mm -hmm. And uh, what the diameter range is? Obviously, you've got two different uh, ratios yeah. there. Yeah, absolutely. We do a three and a five times D, and the the, the range goes from three millimeters to twenty millimeter. And we talk about this as a universal drill. So would it be my go-to drill for stainless, for you know, mild steel, as well as heat resistant alloys? It, it, absolutely, definitely. And especially if you've got a batch size, which would justify it. Um, that particular tool would, would typically run about a third faster than our standard SL carbide drills. And how about the geometries and the different margins and things? Is there anything unique in this drill? We, 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 we've, we've optimised in lots of ways, and that can be down to, to physical size, it could be the surface finish, um, it's the fact that the, the, it's, it's, it's double margin, the second margin um, sits not far behind the front one. So as a result of which it's very stable, and, uh, and, and it, it also helps with the tool life, the fact that it is stable. And I guess this is the beauty of having a tech centre here in the UK. You, I've seen these myself actually in action here in the UK. So you get to test bed them against your drills and the comp competition drills. Absolutely. We, 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 it's been leaps and bounds. I mean, your own ability to be able to test your own tooling that we make, whether it be a standard tool as this is, or the specials that we make as well, because the whole of Birmingham is built to make and regrind and recoat special tools. Thanks, Dave. So if you want information on the RT100XF or any other Goering drills, get in touch with Goering. Mm -hmm.